the budget of TG decks. All magic fun, all cards under a dollar. Now some people don't care for the subtlety of strategy and tactics. They want to crush their opponents through sheer numbers. Now, one of the best ways to do this is through creature tokens. So with that in mind, let's have a look at five infinite token combos you won't believe our budget. Combo one, presence of the Midnight Guard. For this combo, we're gonna need Midnight Guard on the battlefield. Midnight Guard untaps every time another creature enters the battlefield. We're gonna enchant Midnight Guard with Presence of Gond. Presence of Gond is an aura, which allows the creature to tap to put a 1-1 green elf warrior token onto the battlefield. To make the combo go off, we simply tap Midnight Guard to create a 1-1 green elf warrior token, and as the token enters the battlefield, it counts as a creature, so Midnight Guard untaps, and we can repeat the process as many times as we want. We can also replace Midnight Guard with Sunstrike Legionnaire, and the combo will essentially remain the same. Combo 2, Turn Timber Xenograft. For this combo, we're gonna need Xenograft on the table. As Xenograft enters the battlefield, you get to choose a creature type. In this case, we're gonna choose the creature type Ally. Each creature you control is the chosen type in addition to its other types. So whenever a creature enters the battlefield under our control, it will be an ally in addition to its other creature types. Then we will cast Turn Timber Ranger. Turn Timber Ranger states that whenever Turn Timber Ranger or another ally enters the battlefield, you may put a 2-2 green wolf creature token onto the battlefield, and you also get to put a plus one plus one counter on Turn Timber Ranger. Now, Turn Timber Ranger enters the battlefield, you put a 2-2 green wolf ally creature token, because it's an ally, because of Xenograft, and Turn Timber Ranger triggers again, because an ally enters the battlefield, and you get to put down another 2-2 green wolf ally. You may do this as many times as you want, for an infinite amount of creatures. We can replace Xenograft with Conspiracy, and essentially the combo will remain the same. Combo 3, Nim Beetleback Altar. For this combo, we're gonna need Ashnod's Altar on the battlefield. It allows us to sacrifice a creature and add two colorless mana to our mana pool. We're also gonna need Nim Death Mantle on the battlefield, which states that whenever a non-token creature is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, we can pay four mana and then return it to the battlefield and attach Nim Death Mantle to it. Finally, we can cast Beetleback Chief. When Beetleback Chief enters the battlefield, put two 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens onto the battlefield. So we cast the Beetleback, we put two 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens onto the battlefield, we're gonna sacrifice one of those tokens and the Beetleback Chief to the Ashnod's Altar to get four colorless mana. The Beetleback Chief dies, so we can put the four colorless mana into Nim Death Mantle and return Beetleback Chief to the battlefield with Nim Death Mantle attached to it. And as it enters the battlefield again, we get to put two one one red goblin creature tokens on the battlefield. We can repeat this process as many times as we want for an infinite amount of one one red goblin creature tokens. If we don't want to play Beetleback Chief, we can also play Benticor for blue tokens. We can also replace it with Geist Honored Monk for white tokens, or Symbiotic Elf for green tokens, or Marsh Flitter for black tokens, or even Mere Battlesphere for colorless tokens, and then it would fit in any deck. Combo 4, Tidewater Doomsayer Bracers. For this combo, we're going to need Tidewater Minion on the battlefield. Tidewater Minion can tap to untap a target permanent. We're going to equip it with Illusion's Bracers. Illusion's Bracers allows us to copy an activated ability of a creature and choose new copies for the target. Finally, we're going to need Thraben Doomsayer on the battlefield. Thraben Doomsayer can tap to put a 1-1 white human creature token on the battlefield. So we're going to tap the Thraben Doomsayer and we're going to get a 1-1 white human. Then we're going to tap Tidewater Minion to untap two target permanents because it's equipped with the Illusionist Bracers. We're going to choose the Tidewater Minion and the Throbin Doomsayer. Now we can tap the Throbin Doomsayer again to put a 1-1 one, one white human creature token onto the battlefield and repeat the process as many times as we want. We can replace Throbin Doomsayer with Spawning Grounds because Tidewater Minion can untap a target permanent, which includes a land. In that same vein, we can also replace it with Squirrel Nest. And finally, we can also replace it with Mer Turbine for colorless tokens. Combo 5, Sinking Morsel Hoarder Defenses. For this combo, we're gonna need Morsel Hoarder on the battlefield. Morsel Hoarder enters play with two minus one minus one counters on it, and we can remove a minus one minus one counter from Morsel Hoarder to add one mana of any color to our mana pool. We're gonna enchant it with Sinking Feeling. Sinking Feeling allows us to 
pay one mana and put a minus one minus one counter on this creature. Finally, we're going to need flourishing defenses on the battlefield. Whenever a minus one minus one counter is placed on a creature, you may put a one one green elf warrior creature token into play. So since Morsel Hoarder is enchanted with Sinking Feeling, we can remove a minus one minus one counter from it to give us, let's say, a green mana. Then we're going to put that green mana into Sinking Feeling and put a minus one minus one counter on this creature. As we've put a minus one minus one counter on Morsel Hoarder, Flourishing Defenses triggers and we get to put a 1-1 one, one green elf token on into play. We can do this as many times as we want as we keep on removing and replacing the minus one minus one counter on Morsel Hoarder. This will lead to an infinite amount of 1-1 one, one green elf warrior creature tokens. Now what do we do with all those creature tokens entering the battlefield? One good card to have on the battlefield is Orc Sure Shot. It states that whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, target creature and opponent control gets minus one, minus one until the end of turn. Essentially, with an infinite amount of creatures entering the battlefield, we will have infinite removal, which is also effective against indestructible creatures or creatures with regenerate. We can also have Gold Knight Commander on the battlefield. It states that whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Now, not only will we have an infinite amount of creatures, but these creatures will also be infinitely big. Ogre Battle Driver allows our creatures to get plus two plus zero on the turn they come in and also haste, which means those infinite amount of creatures will be able to attack immediately. We can also put down Soul Warden that states that whenever another creature enters the battlefield, gain one life. So now infinite amount of creatures equals infinite amount of life. And finally, we could have Impact Tremors. This enchantment states that whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, we will deal one point of damage to each opponent. So an infinite amount of creatures equals an infinite amount of damage to each opponent. Well, those are five infinite token combos you won't believe are budget. Remember, all these cards cost less than a dollar, so they're ideal for a gamer on a budget. We do recommend you use these combos with caution though, as they're not a lot of fun to play against. Now we're gonna ask you to press the subscribe button so we can get more of these top five lists and you can be up to date on any of our new videos that we make here on Budget MTG Dex. Well, thanks for watching. I'm David, and this was Budget MTG Dex.